Today I will speak a little bit from the history of bodybuilding. It will concern the meat of Eugen Sandow. Maybe this will take two or three short videos, but everybody who is in bodybuilding should know about the first man who made bodybuilding later so popular. Eugen Sandow is the biggest symbol for bodybuilding in its whole history. His body is incorporated into the Mr. Olympia statue for the winners of this competition. Sando was born on April 2, uh, 1867 in the old German city of Königsberg in East Prussia. Today it is a part of Russia. His real name was Friedrich Müller and he was a son of a greengrocer. Later the young man chose the pseudonym Eugen Sando. As at that time stage performers traditionally changed their names. Sando was blessed with a great natural physique and the intelligence to use it. After several angry blow-ups with his family, the young man left his birthplace with a circus that was passing through. He became an acrobat, an athlete, and a performer as he traveled from place to place with the circus. But at the same time, he was also improving his body. The gymnastics and acrobatics were hardening and sharpening his muscles to a remarkable degree. Sando's acrobatic career might have continued indefinitely, uh, if not a problem occurred. The circus he worked for went bankrupt in Brussels. It was a big unluck at the beginning, but it turned out to be great blessing for Sando. In the Belgian capital lived certain entertainer called Louis Attila, a professional strongman and early instructor in physical culture who immediately saw in Sando a truly great athlete. Attila took Sando and teach him day by day the showmanship that the young man would need in order to become a star. He also began to train the young athlete's body, improving what the nature already gave to Sando. After this brief training period, the two men went from city to city showing their physics and strengths and making a living from the infrequent bookings in second-rate music halls. By 1889, Sando and Attila had separated, though they occasionally kept in touch. Attila settled in London and Sando traveled around Europe eventually ending up in Venice, in Italy. While bathing in the Adriatic, Sando was spotted by an American artist, Aubrey Hunt, who painted a magnificent portrait of a young athlete. While Sando was posing for this painting, he learned from Attila of a challenge which he knew Sando couldn't refuse. Performing in London at this time were two professional strongmen named Samson and Cyclops. Neither man was particularly strong, but they had a range and act where the leader of the duo, Samson, taunted his audience with a nightly dare he would present the prize of 500 British pounds to anyone who could equal the strength and lifting of that duo. Sando traveled to London and once again put himself under Attila's direction in his training. A few nights later, the young athlete jumped the stage after Simpson challenge and won the challenge and started his career as an athletic superstar. 